Greetings Minecrafters and welcome to an exciting another exciting Minecraft discussion. We're gonna try this little bit of a winter. It's actually it's Trey Gorge here. I said that's Frances. That's what I tell my kids. And um, that's King Lear making a ton of noise back there because he wants out. You would think they've never eaten before in their lives. Anyway, um, so we'll try this with the wind, and if not, we'll just give it a go. Manana, you know, it's not a huge big deal. Um, but this is, uh, I'm sorry, my name is Dr. Kimberly Quinn, and I am here to help people be a, cha or be a channel for people learning to become the boss of their brains. Because thoughts come first and feelings come second and then actions or behavior. So by practicing thought control, it goes like this, only two choices. Either we control our thoughts or our thoughts control us. Like, you know, there's only, so which is more pleasant, you know what I mean? Obviously controlling our thoughts. So that said, this also helps, that, like the underlying theme there is, is I help channel people see their own value, I think, which is kind of my mission, you know, anti-shame campaign, all that good stuff. So today's uh, um, talk is on just don't give a shit, you know. And it's I got to give a shout out to Sarah Knight, who wrote um, the book about the magical. Oh shoot, I don't have it in front of me. Of not giving an S, an F U C K. Anyway, Sarah Knight of not giving da, 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 of not giving an F U C K. I'm just changing it to shit because it's a little easier on the ears. No offense to Sarah, because I think her book's hysterical and also very good. Um, but this inspired me to just talk about it. So, you know, the big question is, oh, and by the way, I'm trying to sit down so King Lear doesn't see me and make even more racket. So here's the question. Um, are you like, you know, overwhelmed with your life and, and super stressed out because you, you know, you overbook yourself? Because if that's the case, then this is definitely the video for you. And, and th this is because you're giving way too many shits about stuff. And the first part, I guess, just like anything else, is to, is to make two columns and separate the things worth giving a shit from those not worth giving a shit. That's really what it's about. And what we're talking about with the shits we're giving, right, is our, our time, our energy, and, and or uh, cash, money, right? So really when it boils down to it, what we are talking about is our very, very most valuable commodity, which is our life minutes. And so, uh, now my daughter's home, so we'll see, I'll have to do this one tomorrow. So it comes down to, we are most, for the most part, we are saying, you know, yes, when what we really want to say is no. And I just had this discussion with my Minecrafters this past week, you know, and they're mostly, they're pr pretty like traditional college age students. They're mostly like 18 to 22, heavy emphasis on 18, because I have a lot of first years. And right away it rolled out of them. Why, why do we say yes when we really want to say no? Right away they say, because I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, or because I'll feel guilty, I'll feel bad, I feel like I'm a bad person. Then there's FOMO, fear of missing out, right? And then there's sort of extended FOMO, we, we call it, because if so-and-so friends group invites us or invites me a bunch of times and I said no like two or three times in a row they're gonna stop asking me so there's the FOMO is amped up so basically it comes down to external approval seeking is what this is about so we're giving shits about stuff that's outside of us you know and, and caring about what people think is a lot of it and for grown-ups I mean all that can apply to, to seasoned grown-ups too but a lot of times we're talking about like a professional reputation and whatever here's the thing your rep your reputation isn't inside of you your reputation's walking around in the minds of lots and lots of people and here's the here's the big clincher here is the big truth clinching truth is that we cannot control what anybody else thinks at all even if it's about us so that's something really important to let go of let go of what people think and sometimes people say oh you don't understand I'm wired that way oh bullshit because we might be more riot wired that way but it comes down to first becoming aware of whatever it is we want to change right we can't do what we don't know and then once we oh, become a we become aware we have we then have the responsibility dr. Dave we can't run once we know we can't run anymore like okay I need to work on this and then we commit and then whenever we practice we inevitably get good at it. it's just how it works um, and it's also important like our life minutes talking about the shits given right 
meaning our, our, our life minutes and how we choose to spend them, there are only so many life minutes, life seconds, if you really want to break down in any one day to spend on people. I mean, that's just, you know, how it is. And so we have to really sort of learn to be, to, to spend them like they're cash. And so Sarah Knight in her, in her very cool book talks about establishing, well, she says an F-U-C-K budget. We're going to say a, a give a shit budget. Like, what is our give a shit budget? Just like you would do an Excel sheet for, you know, your mortgage or rent, your car payment, cable, internet, you know, food, puppy food, you know, looking at Giovanni over there made me think of it, miscellaneous. We have a budget, right? And so we really need to, to budget our, our time that way in the same way because our valuable life minutes. You know, I'm going to want, you know, that four hours of 50, a fabulous 56 back you know, when I'm ready to go hang gliding or skydiving, when I hit 90 or 100, I mean, I want it back. Not getting it. So here's the thing. We have to weigh out all these obligations, and we have to learn to get better at saying no to stuff. And also making sure that we show up with bells on to things we do give a shit about. So I know, especially in our big, wonderful, huge... It's like, because of course I have my husband, you see my, you know my backstory. I said my husband's wonderful side of the family. It's like if you see my big frat... Greek wedding we're like that only Irish version everybody's loud and everybody's business and we're awesome we drink wine and we have trivial pursuit wars late at night and Thanksgiving it's just it's the best and th th we give a shit about them absolutely and then when it comes down to a third cousin twice removes sisters um, cousin who married in beagles puppies birthday no you know I'm not doing that like unless they're you know, your inner layer of onion to give up a day like this. Look around. This gorgeous October sunshiny day in northern Vermont. A Sunday with the beautiful foliage. They've got to be my own kids. Maybe my favorite cousin. Um, you know, you know, obviously my husband and, you know, his parents. Are, but if it's somebody's like on the periphery on a day like this, no. And we, get, we, can, we can get the strength by sending... Uh, well, I'm kind of old school, but you can circle that little thing on the card within the card. I don't even think they do that anymore with RSVP. Then you don't actually have to talk to anybody. Or you can email or you can leave a message, you know, kind of thing. Instead of having an awk conversation that's going to feel terrible and painful. You know, but to, to take a day like this, you know, that the, those life minutes need to be spent on people who bring us happiness and joy. And we're not even saying that the people... We don't, when, when we say we're not giving a shit about the people, it's not like, you know, being an evil demon and just not caring about, like, their health or something. No. It's just that they don't make the cut for a day like this. Or if it's, or if it's someone's at wor someone at work's friends, cousins, you know, whatever. No. Not, not a day like this. Not five hours of it. Uh-uh-uh. Because uh, uh. it's just, it's too valuable. And think of it like if you would spend, you know, $20 from the housewives last night. We have a daughter binge watches that. They, you know, like I would spend maybe 20 bucks, maybe 40, maybe 50 bucks on them if they were great on sunglasses, but I know eventually I'm going to lose them. She had sunglasses that were like five digits and some kind of purse, I forget the name of what it was, $95,000. In my opinion, actually makes me want to puke to be honest with you, but that's just an enormous amount. So you got to think about like sp spending the life minutes on a day like this. And like one of our sons constantly, our youngest son constantly says, when we swap out our life minutes, we're making a choice to give up here with the, with the person I'm with, or maybe I'm by myself, I have a great day on this deck by myself, or I'm with one of my kids or my husband or whatever, to make a choice to go do whatever said baby shower, again, if it's like the third cousin twice removed, whatever, whatever, we're sacrifice. it's a huge sacrifice. Let's say if I were sitting in the, my, and my, the youngest son was there, one of my other kids or whatever, I just thought of him because he's the one who said it, um, or if it's a time alone, giving up this to go be there, uh-uh-uh. So think of it about like, like a cash purchase. Most people wouldn't spend $95,000 on a purse. Bad purchase, you know, in general. Well, I don't even care if I'm, I'm trying to be judgmental. That's hard. That's, that's a tough one. You could like feed Ghana with that much money, but sorry, I can't help it. There go the goats. Caitlin's letting him out. Okay, so you want to, you want to just not give a shit, not care what people think. We can't change what they think anyway and as far as what we say to people I go by this because I because we have to hear about people's feelings we're not saying be a jerk hear me loudly okay and I operate by this you know I can only control what I say not what you hear so always like my friend father Mike would say 
You gotta say how you feel. Say it with honesty and kindness. Politely decline the invitation with honesty and kindness if it doesn't make the cut. If it just doesn't make the cut. Because our life minutes are about the first string, maybe the second, not the bench. It's just how it is. And so getting better at not giving a shit will have you so much happier because you'll be spending your life life minutes on the people, the circumstances, and the things, all of it, that bring you joy and happiness and the reverse to the people you're with. So that's it. Learn how to not give a shit and spend your life minutes as if they were cash. This is Kimberly Quinn signing off from the gorgeous northern Vermont. Have a mindful day.